morning everyone it is church day and here I am I'm just walking towards church and uh, me Fiori's gonna meet us here with a friend called Kim anyway we'll get into church eh church in a little box where it's just like oh yeah sweet you know we have we have this ministry we have welcome hosting dance and all this kind of stuff and I was I kind of, I kind of limited myself when it came to when it came to church so when I came here um, so to South, South Africa it just blew my mind because it just showed so many passionate people for Christ and everybody just loved one another we we started speaking to we started to speaking uh, we started speaking to different different um, nations and their heart was just amazing and that just starts so much and I just have a quick testimony to share. Um, so on Monday we had a worship night and God spoke to me and said, Hey, look, um, there's going to be a lady with red hair. Her name's either Ruth or Rachel. She has, she has something wrong with her right leg, and yeah, go find her. So I was just like, sweet, my eyes were open, I was just like, Jesus, where is she? Like, you know, and honestly, there was, like, there, was, there was like thousands of people. So I was just like, okay, I, I didn't see her that night, I didn't see her on Tuesday, but on the Wednesday, when we were getting iced coffee, I saw this lady chatting, and I was just like, wow, she has red hair. And I was trying to look at her leg, and I was just like, right leg, right leg, is she limping, or I don't know. So I was just like, okay, hey, hey, I'm just gonna just walk up to her. So I was just standing there, and I was just like, ah. okay, just chatting to someone. And I was just like, okay, okay, okay. okay. And then after she looked at me, and I was just like, oh, hey, um, is your name Ruth or Rachel by any chance? And she's like, no, my name is Leita. So I was like, oh, okay, starts with an R, pretty cool, okay. And then I was like, is there something wrong with your right leg, right leg? And she was just like, hold that thought, sorry. And God gave me a word saying seven years, okay, so do, do you follow? Yeah, seven years, okay, sweet. So I said to her, I was just like, okay, so is there something wrong with your right leg? And she's like, no, but I have a skin disease that, that, that I have on both my legs. So I was just like, okay, sweet, we're going to pray for you. Just pray, 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 pray. And I was like, God gave me a word as well. And it was seven years. And she was like, funny thing, this skin disease started when I was, in, uh, when I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, confirmation that God spoke to me. And it was freaking me out as well. Because she said to me as well, she said, I was praying to God for someone to come to me and speak life to me. So it is so important, so important to hear from God. And what I got from this place was the, the value of relationship. So coming from, coming from this church and like seeing what God has done for people just, just stirs up my spirit, stirs up my heart so much to just know Him more. So I was so passionate about it. And she said, it's different from, from people in my church actually ministering to me and talking to me, but from another person in a different country to come up to you and tell you what you've been praying about blows her mind. So it was just confirmation that God listened to her through another person. So I just highly encourage everybody to just, to just pursue his heart. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. It's just amazing. Good. Tim. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, um, firstly, the equip was amazing, and if you haven't registered for Melbourne, it's the 16th to the 19th of February, yeah. because 
it will change your life. This was the first equipment I've been to, and it's, it's just incredible. The words that we heard were absolutely amazing. You can download all the sermons, by the way. They're all online for free. Um, so jump online, get them all. There's also some great music there. Side note. Um, yeah, equipment was incredible. We had some amazing words from so many different people, but I just want to leave you guys with this. Um, Leo spoke on the Tuesday morning. His message was on contending for our cities. So I just want to challenge you guys. What are you doing outside of Sunday individually to be reaching Sydney? It's, it's awesome to be here on a Sunday collectively being equipped, but this isn't where we reach people. People shouldn't need to come to us to find Jesus. We should be going to them. We should be taking the word out to them so that they can meet Jesus. Um, and I really just want to leave you with this word from Revelation because this is, this is what we're working towards. Um, so Revelation 7 verse 9, um, John in Revelation gets this massive vision from God and that's basically what the book is. So, after this I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes, all peoples and all languages standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice they said, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. We're going to be in heaven worshiping Jesus. How many people are you bringing with you? So, so what I've done, I said to Leo that he misses you guys so much. So he wants a photo. So I told him I'll take a, a, a photo of all of us. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. But you can't sit down and you take this photo. You have to stand up and do something crazy. Ready? Ah, uh, come on. I've still got half an hour to preach, so we're good. All right, are you ready? That means if you need to get into the camera, you might have to move out of your seats into aisles or something, okay? Right. I'm allowed to do this. Right. Nathan's looking at me going, what are you doing? <laughs> Smile, it's okay. I've been up since 3 a.m. So, yeah. All right. If you're not in the front, get in there. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone just move out of your seats. Move out of your seats. <laughs> guys, guys, you need to move out of your seats. The guys on the right and left. Quick, quick. you got three seconds. One. Where, where are we moving? Two. There you go, you can ask him, he loves it. <laughs> it takes you and I doing two things, knowing him and making him known. It starts with you and it starts with me. I can't expect a Jesus culture to take place if it's not in me first. If I'm not living a Jesus culture life, then how do I expect other people to catch that Jesus culture life? Carl, back from South Africa. Definitely. She's uh, she's always been here. <laughs> anyway. Been away for a month. Uh, yeah. Back. And you would have seen that Carl shared. I, just, I feel weird. Uh, Carl, Carl shared uh, a little bit what happened in South Africa. So I uh, hope that you're having a great day. We've had church. It's been fantastic. And here's Kim. Thank you. How was, how was church? Kim? It was the best. Testimonial for you. Come along to GDC Life. <laughs> come, come. See, and uh, Carl will give you a hug. Definitely. Okay. Multiple hugs. Multiple hugs. Multiple hugs. Hugs. Multiple hugs. Multiple hugs. Multiple hugs. Look, oh, we, that's exactly how it happens. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later.